Right, it's now working. Um, about to go through a right nightmare to get it to work though. Um, basically it was reading 0 0.7 volts um, at the Hall's power connector here and um, on the display on the um, display unit down there it was just showing uh, 111 on the um, uh, Hall's diagnostic on the uh, health monitor screen and when you spun the wheel nothing happened and uh, when you did a um, auto setup, um, it came up as uh, Hall's Error 2 and uh, would basically die straight away and wouldn't go any further after like literally a couple of seconds. Um, so I tested that, the, um, the outputs here, with the multimeter and um, they, uh, they were changing when I was spinning the wheel so I knew they were working. So uh, I tested the power and that was 0 0.70 um, for the uh, the power coming out of the uh, controller. Um, so I've taken uh, a 5 volt um, positive feed from the USB port connector on the motherboard of the, the uh, display and run it up to um, the Hall's input uh, that goes to the motor but obviously not to the other end that's going into the controller because I don't want it forcing its way into the controller it, the power needs to go to the motor and then um, the controller will deal with the rest and then I've created a uh, I've linked a um, ground just to make sure they're both using the same common ground and uh, hook that into the earth connector on there and not disconnected the one to the motor though, so they're all using the same ground. Um, and it appears to work. Um, it's passed all the auto setup and everything and seems to work fine. And um, the circuit tester says um, five po uh, 4.90 volts, so it's getting the right voltage now. And um, it works just fine when you... Uh, when you're using the throttle, so no problem with that now. Um, so I think there's something wrong with inside the uh, control circuit for the um, for the hull's uh, power supply by the look of it. Um, but I'm going to uh, Sherwood Pines on Sunday to give it a blast, so uh, I don't want to uh, take the controls to bits now. Um, I don't really want to send it back to Russia either because uh, they haven't even answered my emails after about two weeks anyway so uh, it would take a month of Sundays to get it back probably so uh, I'm going to see if I can um, work out which components on the uh, supply circuit stuff and then uh, go from there if I can't work that out I'll have to uh, send it back and get them to fix it but fingers crossed I can uh, work it out but for now once I've uh, taped and uh, heat shrunk this up and um, taped the wire that I've got linked up here to the wire that goes to the screen um, that can be my fix for now but it does work so it's a workaround anyway so if anyone has the same problem that they can use the feed but make sure it is the feed coming out the back of the display for the USB port because it's 5 volts whereas the feed going to the display as I found out when I tested it is 12 volts so you don't want to be linking into that because otherwise you'll blow your whole sensors up but it seems to work fine with the um, the 5 volt output from the display there you go